Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> so I'm actually procrastinating a little bit because I need to start working on my compare and contrast paper for composition one. I think I know what topic I'm gonna do. I just need to do my brainstorming, but I really needed to take like 10, 20 minutes to myself and not do homework because my head's gonna explode. And I've been dealing with migraines this week and I don't know what it is. I think it's the temperature change. Even though we're way in the south in Houston, we got our first cold front, okay? The temperature didn't change by much during the day, but I guess it was enough to change the pressure in the air because now my head... And I feel like people don't fully understand what a migraine is. I feel like when I've told people in the past that I have migraines, that sometimes they think like, okay, well, pop an aspirin and let's go. But a migraine and a headache are two completely different things. A headache is annoying. You know, it hurts a little bit. Maybe I can be kind of cranky, just not feel great. You know, it, it's unpleasant. A migraine, for me at least, I have something called an arachnoid cyst and I don't know if that's contributing to the fact that I have migraines, but it's pretty much a little cyst on the outside of my brain. The neurologist said that that could be contributing to my migraines. It's not something that they would need to like surgically remove, but it's something that I have to live with and possibly go and get MRIs for every now and then, like every one or two years, just to like make sure that it's the same size. For me, a migraine makes my eyes super sensitive to light. Sometimes like I literally have to sit in the dark without anything on. I get really sensitive to sound. Not everybody that has a migraine has the same symptoms. My symptoms for a while really scared me because I would literally have double blurred vision and I would get to where I wouldn't be able to speak. And what I mean by that is like, I would be talking and all of a sudden I would say some weird word like duck or turtle or something like, and I'm, I'm trying to tell somebody about my day and all of a sudden these weird words would come out. So it was very like stroke-like symptoms and it kind of scared me. So when I had talked to the doctor about it, they said that that's like a form of my neurons misfiring during a migraine. So, you know, as long as I'm not having any of those other stroke-like symptoms that, you know, this is just neurologic migraine issue, which is really weird. But for years, I had no idea what it was. And so some people hate to go to the doctor, even when it could be something that's very, very serious. And I feel like for me, for years, I had these bad migraine issues that could have been something way more serious but because I don't like to go to the doctor I would be like well it's only happened once a month it's only happened twice a month and so then I would just like just push it off and not worry about it but I'm glad that I finally after two summers ago I had the worst summer of my life and I had migraines almost every day and some would last for days and it was it was miserable so when I had gone to the doctor, I had talked to this one doctor and I had told him how that summer in particular, I had got off of keto. So this is crazy, you guys. So I told him I had got off of keto and then I had told him for that whole summer I was off, I had horrible migraines. And then that school year started, or right before the school year started, I decided to get back on to keto. And within one to two weeks, my migraines went from severe and having them back to back to having them only twice a week. And now I'm at the point where I only have migraines every three or four months. And that is, that is unbelievable to me. Like that's absolutely amazing. So a lot of people are on keto purely for weight loss. But for me, I found being on keto has helped me with my migraines. And when I had talked to the doctor about the reasons why being off of keto was giving me migraines, he said that everybody reacts to sugar differently. And he said that he's pretty sure that I'm having a bad reaction to sugar and the sugar is triggering my migraines. And he was saying, you know, some people get hyper on sugar, some people get tired, some people get this and that. He's like, you're having misfires of your neuron and it's triggering your migraines and it's triggering your speech issues with your migraines and your sight issues and it's all like linked together. I'm sorry that this video is such a ramble about, you know, keto and migraines. If there's even one person that I can help because they have migraines and they had no idea that maybe sugar and carbs were what was causing it, then, you know, I helped one person. I know that not everybody 
who's suffering with migraines wants to go onto a ketogenic diet in particular, but at least cutting out that sugar and cutting back on the carbs, it might help. Anyhow, I wanted to mention that I started having migraines again recently. I had a cheat and it was only one meal, so I don't know if that itself is what's causing the migraines or if it's the weather change because it's been an extreme weather change here lately. I did not intend on sitting on the floor and rambling about migraines, did I? 